It is 6.56. We are on the air at the KCRA studios in Sacramento. We're getting a look at our technology, our massive technology, and Steve Roberson at the audio controls <laughs> as he punches every button, hoping one of them will be right. He's a busy guy. And apparently one works because you can hear us. Good morning. I'm Walt Gray. And I'm Kelly Ryan. Here's a look at the morning's top stories. Bobby Hall on his way home this morning. He's expected to be home in Florida by this afternoon. The U.S. Army officer walked across the border to freedom Thursday nearly two weeks after his helicopter went down in North Korea. Family and friends were overjoyed when they heard the news. The message came from President Clinton. In Napa, a career sex offender is in custody again. 41-year-old Ronald Hoffman was arrested for suspicion of violating his parole. But authorities believe they have enough to charge him with sexually molesting three children, all under the age of seven. Hoffman's criminal record includes the murder of a five-year-old Southern California girl. He was paroled in 1992. A Sacramento man has been found guilty of reckless driving in an accident that seriously injured Kings guard Bobby Hurley. The jury convicted uh, Daniel Wheeland after four hours of deliberation. Wheeland faces up to six months in jail. Sentencing set for January. Hurley says he wants to put this whole accident behind him. And federal authorities this morning will investigate the death of a parachutist at a Lodi airstrip. The accident happened Thursday morning near the parachute center along Highway 99. The name of the victim has not yet been released. Authorities say he was an experienced skydiver in his 50s. He jumped from an altitude of 10,000 feet. Witnesses say he simply did not open his chute in time. Mark Fine and sunshine out there this morning yet? Yeah, it is going to be a good looking morning, except for a few areas that do have a little bit of fog. Just like yesterday, a lot of areas have some fog, but most areas are clear. Let's take a look outside from Skycam. It looks pretty nice. You can see the sun out there on the horizon, just a few high clouds. We have 31 degrees in Sacramento and Stockton, 33 degrees in Modesto. <clears throat> now, the satellite photo does show a lot of clouds just offshore. We will see a few of those clouds as we go through the day, but any thick clouds, any clouds that could bring us rain, will hold off until tomorrow. Highs today will be in the low 50s. The five-day forecast brings in some fog on Sunday and Monday. Tuesday, a better chance of rain, but I think tomorrow, maybe just a few sprinkles. That's about it. Really not expecting much tomorrow at all. Okay. Thanks, Mark. Mm -hmm. Well, that does it for us uh, here this morning on the Sunrise News. We want to throw it uh, in, inside to the control room, get you one last look inside at the technical people that make things work here on the Sunrise News, and especially our esteemed morning producer, Joe String. Joe, take it away, my friend. Well, how are you doing this morning? Hi, Great. Kelly. Hi, Hi Joe. Hi. Hey, listen, uh, we have a special guest in the uh, studio this morning. Her name is Elizabeth Campbell. Uh, Ms. Campbell and I have known each other since high school, and uh, she's uh, one of the best friends I have in the whole world. And <laughs> She's here today because I forgot to give her a Christmas present, and Jim has it for me. Um, Ms. Oh, Joe! Oh. Drop the mic. Ms. Campbell, you're my best friend, and I love you very much. I want to spend the rest of my life. Will you please marry me? Yes. <laughs> Cool. Thanks. Happy New Year, everybody. <laughs> Send it back to Walt and everybody. <laughs> well, that does it for us. Have a great morning and a great New Year's. How can we top that? Happy New Year. Outstanding. <laughs>